a baby bird fell from its nest on our rooftop. Luckily, Andy found it and alerted me. It was around 100 degrees outside. The chick was very quiet and weak. I brought it in, gave it some water, and put it in a box so it can rest. Two hours later, I check on it and try to give it some food. However, it doesn't want to eat and still quiet. I fear it won't make it. I feel sorry for it. An hour later, I heard it chirping loudly from outside of my room. Apparently, Elizabeth figured it out and successfully fed it some seeds. And it once more while she's in her English tutorial session with Miss Jennifer. At night, it sleeps with grandma so she can feed it. The next day, I was awakened by the chirping. I'm so happy to see it alive and start grooming. First time grooming. Oh, still very weak. Getting stronger, right? You're gonna survive and you're gonna join the rest of the flock outside yeah yeah <laughs> what you gonna do Verdi? there's a saying early birds catch the worms well, I'm not into warmth, but I have to get up early because of the early bird. It's okay, then. Don't force it. Did you bring it out to see if the parents want to... That's right. They only came close. They do? Only close, but then they flew away. Small oh, night. then we should. I can't get them back into the nest. Oh, right, right. Oh, they can't fly. Yeah. So just... Both parents or just one parent? One. Oh, it's looking at you. When was that? Is that in the morning? Yesterday. This morning they've been silent to him. Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe when he... But we should bring him out, uh, you know, every morning so that he can kind of identify himself with the rest of the flock. And then when he grow up, he joined them. <laughs> the magic is gone. And <laughs> he doesn't want to open the mouth anymore. <laughs> what happened, Andy? Can I get out of my gun? Get off of my hand. He wouldn't get off of my hand. He <laughs> wouldn't get off of my hand. You're gonna get off of my hand, please? No? Is the injured foot better? Is uh, it, wait, does he it got his foot stuck. His toenail got stuck. Take the 
that's it for today i'll check back with you when something special happen where's the box he need to stay in the box yeah. day four again the commotion wakes me up early mm -hmm. you made him cry <laughs> He just want to see it. Let him sniff it. He won't. <laughs> While in Elizabeth's chemistry tutorial session with Miss Hina, the kid calls out for food. After the chemistry session, we bring the kid outside for it to be with its dad. This dad is very thoughtful and knowledge. Notice, before he comes to the feeder for seeds, he often stops by the birth bath to collect some water. Here, he's looking for insects to give his kiddo some protein. There, he brings back a spider. And another spider. Magic is gone. The magic is gone. I know. Oh yeah, it's still. Oh. Oh, it's on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, so. <laughs> oh yeah. 
magic is gone again. I can't feed you from my mouth. I can't feed you from my mouth, you know that. <laughs> Got it in. Mm. Oh, this is so much. And you That's more. I know, but it wants more. Day five. The moment we put the kid outside, the dad comes back to feed it. As it is still not strong enough, we want to hold it back another day or two. Thus, we put it in the box and then in the trampoline so the hawk can't grab it. As it grows more feathers and gets stronger, its appetite also grows. That makes it easier for us to feed it more. Good night. After Elizabeth's morning skating lesson, we return home and let the now fledgling out to be with its dad. Oh, it can fly. It's very interesting to see the mom tries to help. Up until now, we rarely see her by the chick nor feeding it. The dad is super. He did way more than I thought he could do.
Finally, it makes it into the rose garden. Here, the dad feeds it a lot of food before they make another attempt to the top of the wall. As the kids struggle to fly up the wall, the mom shows up to show her support and even tries to help push it up. I can't believe my eyes. Our job is done. We are so happy for them. Here we say goodbye to the sweet little chick and trust that the dad will continue to provide the best care for it.